Hello everybody, and uh, look at my new project here. Now, I'm trying to make a very simplified solar heater, and I figure I'll make a small one to use for a solar dehydrator, and then maybe I'll expand upon the idea later on and try it out by heating a room in the house, or heating a greenhouse, or heating the chicken coop, or something like that and uh, very simple idea now a lot of times you see these with let's see pop cans and I've seen people use like sewer duct and stuff like that which is plastic and I don't think plastic would work as well um, pop cans they take the bottom off here and they open this top up. Some of them kind of uh, leave part of this. They just form it into like triangles or something and, and uh, kind of make it stick up and twist it to where your air gets a little bit of a spin, get a little bit of movement on it as it travels. The whole idea is you build this box, right? And you have holes on the bottom. The air, cold air enters and it heats up and of course hot air rises so it's going to go up the box and this is going to be where the top is going to be up against something a window or something like that or a solar dehydrator box and it's going to exit and to be really good depending on what you're using it for you might want to have one inlet and it travels up and have a way where it transitions goes down and you might need like a, little, a fan or something to move it that way. And that's going to heat the air up even more. Um, I don't know the exact dimensions of what you want these to be. This is going to be roughly um, 33 inches in length. That's what these are. Uh, like I said, a lot of people use pop cans, beer cans. I'm not, I don't have the tools or the know-how. Well, I mean, I can figure it out, but... Um, I got a um, downspout for guttering laying around, so I use that. I'm just going to clean this up and uh, put this frame together. And uh, on my inlet and outlet, I do have a board here where I've drilled some holes. And I had another project that I tried last year, uh, which was a chicken tractor, and it didn't work. Uh, neighborhood dogs that ran loose were able to dig into that within 30 minutes so all that wood is slowly going to other projects here so I just used two by fours and it fits perfectly I got just a little bit of a lip I can go get some uh, plastic sheeting or or something and put across here and uh, I'll paint all this black but here's the beginning of the project so now I got um, Everything cleaned off a little bit, and I got a bottom on it. Now I'm going to use some silicone or latex stuff, I guess. And I'm just going to kind of go around the edges here and kind of seal them off a little bit better. Oops, can't really see my finger. So, kind of hard to do with one hand, but you can get the gist of it. And I'll do that all along this thing, and then I'll let it set up and dry for a couple hours, and I'll come back and I'll paint it black. So here we are with an almost finished product. Just got to get a top pit on it. I'm going to go look around for one here pretty soon. If anything, I got some uh, three and a half mil plastic I can put over, kind of create a greenhouse effect. And I think I might kind of got a cloud cast day to day, maybe some rain. So put it in the garage for a while and see how it goes this afternoon. I might just kind of set it out and kind of do a quick test. All right, so I don't have the top on. I put the uh, plastic on just to try it out and. It was kind of dirty, and I tried to wash it off, and it didn't wash off very good. And uh, 
my thimp was about 120 with the plastic on there and it's running 130 without the plastic and today it's only 90 degrees so we do got a 30 degree uh, climb from the air coming out of this and you can put your fingers up here and you can feel the heat coming out so if I got it in a better spot and once I get that a better top on it get that greenhouse effect going in there hopefully it spit out even warmer really though 130 for uh, um, a solar dehydrator that's pretty good uh, I've read this whole book that this lady talked about you know using low temperatures like 120 110 to 120 to uh, dehydrate things and that preserve, preserved a lot more nutrients in it I'll have to do a another video about that but so uh yeah I want some little box there'd be a nice little uh, solar dehydrator and uh imagine if it was twice that size it'd be a pretty good heater so there's one experiment going on right now until next time this is Josh